President Bola Tinubu has renewed confidence in his Chief of Staff, Femi Bajabi Amila. Speaking on his readiness to own up to a mistake, the President says he has absolute confidence, reiterating that he made the right choice appointing Bajabi Amila as his Chief of Staff. Absolute confidence on the integrity of my Chief of Staff. All the issues insinuations to stop the box stop here if there is if I make mistake I'm ready to own up to it and uh, we are all joining hand to fight corruption And we want to enforce the, the law along with you. Displaying a high level of firm, firmness, President Tinubu read a riot act warning that those without official invitations to the council chambers should not be present there. He emphasized that granting unauthorized access to the chamber is unacceptable. Or do you access? of people sneaking in and out of this council. That is not acceptable. You, I will announce to you those people who are supposed to be here with my consent. I did have a lavish man as a policy by your Nanuga information and strategy. I keep Mori Okola, principal, Private Secretary and Damilo to Adiremi, Private Secretary. Those are the people who are granted exceptions to be here when we are conducting the business of the nation. Unless I sent for you, don't come. Unless they are your staff that is included. No one is privileged to have access in city in this ESCO, except those four that I have announced to you. Thank you very much. Before the Council went into a closed-door session to carry out the national business for the day, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Judge Akume, praised Tinubu for his victory at the Supreme Court. To survive our democracy in Nigeria, even at the great personal risk and losses, he prevailed over several local battles, some politically motivated. He, as governor of Lagos State, he brought in January to play when the constitutionally guaranteed allocations came under siege. He successfully navigated several formidable obstacles on the road to his emergence as the president of Nigeria. Under his leadership, Nigeria overcame the P. And ID saga, consistency, doggedness, and truthfulness remain the weapons of victory deployed by this giant politician of our time. As a visionary leader with a track record of performance, President Bola Metinubu, in his quest to deliver on the dividends of democracy to Nigerians, has identified eight priority areas under the renewed hope agenda. Members of the Federal Executive Council and everyone in the Council Chambers for all these possible positive attributes of leadership, victorious political battles, less with principles, legal victory at the Supreme Court of Nigeria, economic victory on the PNID matter, and for the implicit trust in us as cabinet members. Recall that last week, Monday, under the leadership of President Bola Tinubu, Nigeria won their controversial $11 billion arbitration case against the Process and Industrial Development PNID in London. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.